Hi guys, guess what today is? It is moving day and I am so ready to move in. So let's move in. This was like the longest day of my freaking life. You guys, I had body parts that was hurting that I ain't know that would hurt. Sitting in the house doing quarantine, not doing nothing, then getting up and moving a whole house to another house is exhausting, let me tell you. But it was well deserved. We worked hard to get to where we are now and I'm excited about this move. So we're just gonna jump straight in. Um, one of the first things that we needed to put together were the bedrooms. So I started with our room. Um, I decided to put the bed together. He was still moving at this time with the movers and it was getting really late. So I just wanted to go ahead and get a head start on putting the beds together. So, and I'm really handy like that. I like putting things together, so that's not a big deal. I mean, I struggle sometimes and I'm small and I might almost die, but I still like to put stuff together because I like the way it feels to feel like you're doing something, you're being a part of something. You're not just sitting around, you know, just being pretty. I like to get dirty and do things. So I put my bed together and then I went over to my daughter's room and did her room and then my son's room. So all the beds were put together this night because we had to make sure we have somewhere comfy to sleep. After this long day of moving things and hauling things back and forth and up and down these stairs, who said stairs in the house is gonna be fun? I mean, it was exhausting. So um, my kids wanted to help and I had them helping me right here. Um, unroll the rug. Um, this rug came from my living room, but I wanted to my room to have colors of blue um, It's like a midnight blue color. So I decided to put this in my room and not in the living room this time You guys will see the living room later You guys my daughter is so freaking goofy. She loves to be in front of the camera they both want to be YouTubers and be in front of the camera, but she is a character. And then she just decided to jump on my back and uh, almost took me out, uh, honey. I was like, uh-uh. Like, my body was aching and screaming and hollering, get off. Uh, but this is her room, me kicking all these toys out the way, like, move these toys. I've been tripping on toys since she's been alive, honey. And I'm tired. So, I needed to figure out, you know, where I wanted to put her bed with. You know what looks best what gave her the more space gave her the most space um, with the layout of her bed um, so the bed did not go this way wait did it no the bed did stay this way actually but I was tired we called it a night this is the next day and as slow as this little clip is going it's as slow as my muscles is warming up to the day honey because uh, y'all I'm normally moving around a lot, but like I said before, sitting still in your house because you're not supposed to do many things. They ain't say don't work out, but when they said be still, baby, I was being all the way still, and that I wasn't doing nothing. I took this as a whole vacation, and my body said, uh-uh. Um, so today, we got a little bit more pieces of furniture in the room. I am making our bed. I love to make the bed. It just makes you feel more productive, make you want to do more things, and stay. it helps me to stay out of the bed. If the bed is made, I can get on top of it and I can't get in it. I'm not more like I'm more likely not to get back in the bed. And it just looks so good when your bed is made. And it just feels like you're doing something like fresh cup of coffee, you know, get you a nice little breakfast and just start your day and be very productive. I don't even drink coffee y'all. So I don't orange juice. Let's use orange juice in my case. But anyways, we made the bed. I made the bed. So these dresses are dresses that I made. A while back in my old home and I just love these side dressers so we're just gonna set these up and then we're gonna head downstairs and you guys see what I'm working with what we working with downstairs um, we put a good dent in things but nah, we still had a lot to go and this was the second day so we just jumping straight into it and we were just gonna unpack
I went to Walmart to get a few things and I found these curtains, y'all. I think they look really nice. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I'm 100% sold on them. But I'm gonna pick these up. And you know what? They only had one. <laughs> one of these. And I need, well, it comes to the pack. I need six for the living room area if it turns out to be something I really, really love. And then I got this um, sheer panel. Um, I needed some new shower linings, shower liners, and. Um, we got some paper towels and some fall and some trash bags and I'm gonna try clean up this kitchen because we still have boxes everywhere I look at Arian. Toys all over the table and boxes as you see everywhere, but we are Getting things in order That's how it looks so far I'm going to change that to a different TV stand because that does not go with anything I'm trying to do um, with this living room area. I do have a rug right here that i need to open but i'm not going to open that until all the boxes are cleared out and everything's in its place because i don't want it to get dirty um, but this is what we're looking like today today is the second day here and you guys and that's a lot of stuff from burlington's and ross and decor i'm tired and my body hurts <laughs> So I tried to make a dent in the kitchen. Um, the kitchen took me a little while. We had a lot of dishes and a lot of things to unpack in the kitchen. But over time, I did eventually complete setting up the kitchen. You guys will see in up, the next upcoming video, I was still um, getting everything together in the kitchen. Um, I love the black counters. I mean, I love the black cabinets. I love how aesthetically pleasing the white ones look. But I don't know if I want to be clean and off you know, light color cabinets every time I touch them with my dirty fingers because I'm trying to season them and I got seasoning and ketchup, fingertips and barbecue stuff and the kids touching things. So I love that it's dark, um, dark cabinets in this kitchen. So I'm just going to go ahead and try my best to do what I can do right now. And I'm going to call it a night and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you give your girl a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have already, if you have not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.